All right, I just did a late night inspection of my V2L box. This is the high voltage plug, 200 amps, 1500 volts. There's the one on the other side. This is uh, the invisible cable between uh, the motor controller and the distribution box. So it fits right between it. That plug that's original down there goes up there and it's completely invisible to the system. So then you tap into it by plus and minus, right? So that's a new trick now. It's a, yeah, it's a new trick power con output. Not the most waterproof, but also not the worst. So that's actually a great connection. The box is uh, somewhat waterproof rated. Um, water is only a problem if there is uh, some high pressure cleaning going on and, and so on. I just replaced uh, the fuse in here. This is a fast type, 500 volts DC, 690 volts AC for Eaton. I was using this one before and the problem with this one is it's uh, 32 volts 170 amps it's better than nothing however if it breaks it most likely throws a spark and a spark can set everything on fire sparks are quite hot so with a little bit of luck this one wasn't sufficient this one is about 6000 watts and uh, because this is a fast fuse it's a little bit bigger it's 25 amps and that's only to protect for shorts as the inverter will protect for overcurrents and stuff like that so um, the inverter is fused as well of course and protected all kind of ways so and you still need to glue drip put a drip of glue on the screw up there so vibrations have no effect on it everything was still tight very tight uh, i'm not sure you can see it in there but uh, it's very tight and secured on the downside by nylon. So that should be uh, perfectly fine. So I will do, uh, this is the third inspection I do. Nothing is smelly, nothing has melted. I've, um, like I said, I just replaced the fusion here and uh, that's my V2L adapter. This goes to a solar inverter and I use 2.5 mil cables for that. That's about 5,000 watt at 400 volts. So that works fine. 2.5 mil inside. Like I said, the fuse is only to protect shorts this particular fuse will uh, have a very large gap when it's tripped and there will be no sparks flying inside there because it's filled with sand and fully ceramic and a way better solution for the purpose tape is holding up great there's nothing the tape is actually holding nothing so it's just there for some showcase all right v2l guys works perfectly fine here you go by the way the cable is 200 amps as well 1500 volts i have uh, 
seen over 300 amps going through it and as you can see no melting nothing heated nothing smelly so it's perfectly fine and this cable is actually thicker as what the vehicle is using the vehicle is using one of the 50 amps cable so it's a lot thicker and therefore completely visible to the system all right let's close let's close it up and waterproof it a bit later so there you have it input output spare fuse and the 400 volt output that goes to the converter and this has already been proven works great and uh, well aliexpress is your friend